Hey guys, in this video I'm going to go over how to set up a Let's Encrypt SSL cert for your website. Specifically, I'm doing this on my WordPress website that I set up with uh, AWS LightSail. Um, AWS now uses Debian for their prepackaged WordPress uh, inst instances, and they no longer use Ubuntu. So if you do have an older LightSail instance that you're probably using Ubuntu, or if you're not using LightSail at all, you're just using Ubuntu, the instructions are very similar, but they do vary slightly. I'll include in my uh, description the uh, um, the separate commands you have to run, um, but for the most part, you'll get this will get you about 85% of the way there. Um, so if you are using Ubuntu, make sure you check that out also. Um, and then uh, Let's Encrypt is basically a company that offers a free cert, uh, but it does expire after 90 days. So I already uh, am SSH'd in to my Lightsail instance. It's just a, um, a pop out that they offer. It's super easy. Um, so I'm already in there, so let's just get started here. So the first thing we have to do is install the software properties package that the CertBot developers use. And uh, also, I'm going to be adding all the commands in my description, so you can just copy-paste if you don't want to type it out. And the first command is the app get install command. I'm going to paste that in. Press yes. I'm going to let that go through for a sec. Okay, it's done. If you're using a Ubuntu instance, you will need to install the uh, GPG and then the CertBot to your local repository. You can find out your distro by typing in uname minus a, like this. Got to run it as sudo. Okay, everything's done. Now let's install CertBot with this command right here. So what this is doing is just uh, installing CertBot now. And that's sudo apt get install CertBot. Okay, the install is complete. Next we have to set up a domain wildcard with this command. And it's basically going to be domain equals example.com. So if, if whatever your domain is, you need to put that in there. Um, there's mine, foxmsp.com. So press enter. Now we're going to be running this next command. And you don't need to add your domain in. It'll pull it from that, that previous command. You can verify that you got this right by typing in uh, echo domain. I'll just type it in right here. Press enter, and there it is, foxmsp.com, and then you have an asterisk.foxmsp.com. So that's how I know it worked. Next, we're going to start CertBot in uh, interactive mode. Um, basically, this command tells CertBot to use uh, a manual authorization um, method with DNS challenges to verify. Uh, uh, basically your domain ownership to verify that you own it. So there it is right there. Once you uh, get that command in there, press enter. Now you need to uh, enter in your email address and they're only using your email address here for uh, renewal security reasons, so don't be worried. I'm just putting a uh, putting in a uh, a fake email. Next, yeah, you're gonna get a terms of service. Um, read through it. There's a link there. Then press A if you agree. If you cancel, it'll back you out. It's gonna ask you a couple different things. You can press yes, no. Just read through it. All right, now you should have been prompted with this uh, please de deploy a DNS text. Um, we basically need to verify to Let's Encrypt that we own the domain that we say we do. Uh, we do this by creating uh, text records in DNS. Um, text records are pretty easy to add to DNS, and I'll be showing you how to do it in Route 53. That's where I have my domain added. If you're using something else like GoDaddy and are unsure, it, it's pretty easy. It's really quick. You just need to Google how to add TXT records in GoDaddy or whatever hosting provider that you're using. Um, like I said, it's really straightforward. So I'm going to show you in Route 53, and they're, it's pretty similar in all different uh, hosting providers. So let me uh, hop over to my console real quick. 
So I'm in here now. I'm going to go to Hosted Zones. Here's my website that I purchased. I am going to be adding in. Here's some previous text records. I'm going to just delete that. And we're going to create a new record. And we're going to name it. Let's go back and see what it was supposed to be. So it's Acme Challenge. So we go in there. Make sure you remove the period. And we're going to choose, and it's going to be a text record. Now let's get the And you're going to have to be doing this twice. Throw in the value, put the value in. Let's change it to one minute so it's quick. You can leave the routing policy the same. Let's create the record. Now I'm just going to give it a minute to uh, propagate out to the internet and then we'll check it using a um, MX Toolbox or a couple different websites that you can use. All right, I let it sit a minute. So next let's uh, copy the uh, subdomain they have here, the Acme Challenge. Copy that. Actually, just copy the whole thing. And we're going to go to dnschecker.org. You can use a MX Toolbox. Um, I like DNS Checker. So the website's uh, dnschecker.org again. Um, copy paste that in. And it should be acmechallenge.yourdomain.com. Change it to text, search. And it, there it is. It found it. So it propagated out to the internet. We set it for a minute, TTL. So shouldn't have taken long. So next, let's go back into uh, your SSH ses session. Oops, looks like I did something. Let me uh, let me get it back up and running. One sec. I accidentally pressed enter, so I just went through the process again. So um, now that I, what I did before is I had this added. I just pressed enter. It verified it. So now I need to add in another text record. You're gonna add in two. So let's copy this again, and we're gonna go into the uh, the same text record. We're going to edit it, and in, in uh, Raw 53, you have to just separate with a uh, separate line. Uh, I know other hosting providers are a little different. I'm going to add that value in. I'm going to press Save. So now I have two in there. I'm going to give it another minute, and uh, it should propagate out. All right, we gave it a minute for the second uh, text record uh, DNS verification. So let's, uh, I'm going to open up my DNS checker. I'm going to search it again. It should find two entries. There they are. So next, let's go back into your uh, SSH ses session. And let's press Enter. Now let's give it a minute to uh, waiting for verification. And there it is. You're all good to go. So from here, you'll basically see this uh, important notes pop up. And it's basically going to let you know that the cert, the chain, the key files uh, are all stored in um, the Etsy Let's Encrypt Live domain directory right here. Um, this piece right here is going to be different, whatever your domain is. So make note of that path. Um, you might have to refer to it again later. Um, also take note of the uh, expiration date. Mine is on New Year's, New Year's Eve. Um, so that's exactly uh, 90 days from now and uh, that's when you'll have to renew it. So now we need to create the links uh, for the Let's Encrypt SSL certificate files to your Apache server directory. Um, so next let's uh, run this script to stop the PHP, Apache, and uh, MySQL services so you can create the links. So it's going to be, uh, you're going to run sudo, and you're going to run the, uh, the script that's in the opt bitnami um, uh, path. Give it just a few seconds to stop all the services. Okay, the script finished and uh, stopped the services, so next we want to um, set up the uh, envir environment variable again for your domain. So you're going to type in domain in all caps equals and whatever your domain is. 
So I'm doing foxmsp.com, press enter. And you can check this by echoing it. And you just need to type in echo and then domain. And you should see the domain spit out. So it worked. So now let's uh, run some commands to create links to your Let's Encrypt certificate files. And uh, I'm going to be showing you the Debian commands. So if you do, if you are using Ubuntu, um, check the link in my description. Um, it's just two separate commands. I cleared my page so it could look clean, but here's the first command. Press enter. I already have these links created, so I get a failed, but you should get a, a, a success here. And the next command that creates the link is right here. Press enter. And like I said, I, I got failed because I already created these. All right, so next, we need to run the uh, the uh, the script that restarts all the services that we previously stopped. And here is the command right here. Oops, that was not it. One sec. One sec, where is it? Here it is right here. There it is. And it's starting the services. We'll give it a sec. So now the uh, services are started up again. So next we're going to install the really simple uh, SSL plugin on your WordPress site and use it to integrate the uh, SSL cert. The plugin also configures HTTP to HTTPS redirection, which is nice and saves some time. That basically uh, redirects and forces everyone to uh, be on a secure HTTPS connection. So now we need to run the following command to change the permissions on two different directories to be writable so that the plugin can configure your certificates. So here's the command here. And it's just a, a sudo chmod command. Paste it in. And there's the uh, two directories it's changing permissions on. Now let's open up the uh, WordPress site. I'm already logged in. Um, if you don't remember how to log in, it's basically your website forward slash WP admin. And then once you get here, you're going to go to plugins. I'm already there. I'll just reload it anyways. And then you're going to choose add new right at the top. Let me get rid of these things. And then you're going to search really simple SSL. And it should be the one with the lock logo. So choose install now. Then choose activate. After you click activate, you should see uh, uh, the SSL has been detected. Then click activate again right here. From here, you should see the uh, SSL activated right here. So let's try to log in again and see if it redirects. So I'm going to re-log in, and if you click at the top right here, you'll see it's a secure site and verify by Let's Encrypt. So that's how you set up Let's Encrypt, it's pretty easy, straightforward. Um, the main thing you just need to remember is to renew every 90 days. Um, there is some scripts you can set up online to auto-renew, so if you're looking for something more uh, um, long-term, you can go through that. Um, but if you have any questions, concerns, let me know in the ch uh, comments, and I uh, hope you guys liked the video. Thanks.